was just the night of my life. It's a night that I will never, ever forget. We have been graced by greatness tonight, and it has come in the form of David Weir. Discovery Peacock, Peacock takes the ball from Ray Britain. Richard Brown takes the silver for the United States. Obviously, it was myself and Johnny's first games, and I think we were both pretty naive as to what we might actually be able to do and, and the, the fact that we might win. Um, we were both just like, oh, you know, we'll just go and see what we can do. Sitting under the stands, the floor, like, physically was shaking. And I remember every other girl just looked really pale, like, so sick. They looked so worried. And I was just like, oh, I can't wait to go out. The crowd cheered everyone. But if they said you were from Great Britain, oh, man, like, the, somehow the noise, like, tripled. It was absolutely insane. And listen to the applause for Anna Cockcroft. Someone, as you say on your mats, we went silent and someone went, go on, Hannah, which obviously really distracted me. And after the race, like the next day, I went to see my family and my auntie went, did you hear me? That was me. And she was so proud of herself. And I was thinking, oh, no, like you shouldn't do that. The war begins and Hannah Cockcroft starts to accelerate away from Franklin. In my head, I was the only person on that track and I was just trying to go for a really good time. You know, all I could hear was like my own heartbeat in my ears and just my own head going like, come on, quicker, quicker, like stay on the rim. Outside as well, she'll come round the bend with a sizeable advantage. At no point during the whole race did I know where any other girl was. So I only knew I'd won it kind of when across the line and I looked up at the screen and, and there was my name. Ready. She's getting an ovation. The flashlights are going off. The only question is, what time will it be? Can she go close to the world record? Unbelievable performance. This sport has found another genuine superstar. The golden girl from Halifax has done it again and it's a Paralympic record to boot. When I crossed the line, there was just this explosion of sound that, oh, you know, I've done it, like, relief that I'd done what I wanted, excitement, and then, you know, realising that all these people had just witnessed it. So when Hannah won on that day, I thought, well, I've got to do it now. You know, I can't let the team down. Um, and then I knew Johnny was after me as well, so... I thought if we could match what the Olympic guys did on that on that Saturday, we, you know, we, you know, we'd be in folk folk world. Here he is. What a roar! The decibels from O'Farrell have dropped to 111 when he took his second gold. For Weir, it was 110. Now you've only got to do two laps. That's all I get saying to myself. You know, you've got two laps to do on, on that track. And, and just believe in yourself and, and, you know, try and get that third gold medal. The werewolf is here and he's hungry for a third gold medal. The noise is already deafening. The flashlights are going off all around the stadium. I just knew I had to be on, 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 on Zane's um, back wheels. Um, so I didn't really have any tactics. I just knew I had to be on his will at the at the start and, and not lose it on the final bend. And it's Zhang from China leading at the moment with Dave Weir in second place. I sort of heard a commotion at the back of me, but yeah, I didn't look round. Usually I look round, but I was so focused on what I was doing, I knew it was nowhere near me. So the only thing I was worried about in case it got recalled and then we'd have to do the race again, but luckily it was over 200 metres, so they technically they didn't have to recall it. As I come past uh, Zhang, I could sit, it looked like he was going backwards. And that's when I knew that I'd, I'd won the race, pretty much, coming down that bit with about 20 metres to go. Dave Weir needs to draw on all the reserves of confidence and strength here, because this is so, so close. Zhang, and Dave Weir is now taking the lead. Boots trying to come on the outside, but Dave Weir has done it again. My mum and dad, um, were at the final bed, so, and it was weird because when I went round for my victory lap, I spotted them. It was just weird, I just saw them out of, you know, 80,000 people, and, and it was probably the first time I've ever seen my dad, you know, cry. It was, um, yeah, it was very emotional night.
it just blows my mind. I have to watch the videos back and uh, and see what if it really happens. Sometimes, you know, it feels like a dream still. And it's eight years on. Yeah, it's just a truly special, special night, and I don't think it'll ever be done again. I remember going back, and pulling to the side to do interviews. I did one interview, and then Johnny was lining up, and I just said, "Look, can I please, can I stop my interviews? I just don't want to do. It. I want to sit and watch this race." And I remember just having a GB flag wrapped around me. And I was right behind the finishing line, and I remember him lining up. And then I remember him telling the crowd to be quiet. The chance of Peacock, Peacock go up again. Listen to the crowd. The crowd know who they want to win. The noise was just something else, you know. You know, people singing and chanting his name, and it was it was something special. And then when it went quiet, it was like dead quiet, like you could, you could hear a pin drop. Extraordinary tension around this stadium. When that gun went off, the roar was just something else. The start vital and Peacock gets a good one. He's ahead of Pistorius. Brown starts to go with him. Peacock's in front. Pistorius starting to recover. But it's going to be Peacock. Peacock takes the goal for Great Britain. Richard Brown takes the silver for the United States. Peacock wins in a time of 10.9 seconds. All the talking is over. And Peacock for Great Britain is the 100 metres gold medalist. He set the world record. That will always be my defining moment, I think. London is just the one for me.